Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do something a little different today. I'm kind of asked a lot about the clothes that I wear um, when I'm going to galleries or on some of my posts. If you didn't know, I have an Instagram. You can follow it. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, people kind of ask like, what am I wearing? And I don't talk about it most of the time in the actual shots because obviously I'm talking through the art. So I thought this would be a cool video just to talk through some of my favorite outfits from some of my most recent uh, posts. And if you like this, let me know if you want to see more of this. If you don't like it, silence is golden. Don't say anything at all. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd walk through some of my outfits. And here we go. Ah, okay. So... This is one of the more recent outfits that I've worn. And the star piece here is this Alexander Wang blazer that I absolutely love. So if you're looking at any of my photos, there's a pretty good chance that I'm either wearing something from The Real Real, Zara, or Frankie Shop. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like this this is like the perfect example of that because this is an Alexander Wang from The Real Real. I love The Real Real. It is a secondhand clothing website. Uh, they do have a store in New York. I think they also might have one in LA and San Francisco, but honestly, it's the most sustainable way to shop, which is what I love about it. Not to mention you get things for really incredible prices. And when I saw this blazer, I thought, okay, the last thing you need is a blazer right now. We're literally going through a pandemic. I work from home. <laughs> I literally never need to dress up, but I thought it's beautiful. And I'm really happy that I bought it because I've actually worn it a lot. So this is a great purchase. And as you can see here up close, it has these really beautiful checkered texture as well as this signature kind of Alexander Wang little beading detail. So yeah, I, I just love this blazer. I also think it hits really nicely. It's a little bit longer, covers the booty. Yeah, there's really nothing bad I can say about this blazer. I am obsessed with it. Ah, I forgot one piece, hold on. This coat, I think, is honestly the dark horse of the season. This coat I wore all the time when I was in London. I'm going to continue to wear it all the time uh, when I'm going home for the holidays as well as far into winter because if you live in New York, winter hasn't started yet. It's coming January, February. So yeah, this is a coat from ASOS. And I really do try not to shop fast fashion that often, but sometimes I do and I just love this ASOS uh, this is ASOS design this is their own brand so this is great um, I love the oversized factor I love that it's a full length coat which keeps it makes it really warm and it has shoulder pads which I'm obsessed with you'll um, see of quite a few things here that have shoulder pads so yeah I just love this coat and another outfit that I've worn recently that I really really loved was um, actually a Black Friday purchase which is another thing that I rarely do. I don't really like to shop sales because I feel like sometimes it just adds pressure to like buy things that you don't need. Um, but I will say I had my eye on this dress for a while when it wasn't on sale and I just didn't take the plunge because I already had quite a few things with shoulder pads, but honestly, you can just never have too many shoulder pads. And I really liked this color, so uh, if you see my Instagram, you'll notice I don't really wear a lot of color. I do like this for my Instagram because then it doesn't detract from the art. It always complements the art no matter what. Um, but this actually I found really does complement the art, especially the Alex Gardner show that I went to with all of the blue in the paintings. I feel like this just complemented the works perfectly. I feel like mustard yellow is actually kind of a neutral. So super happy with this purchase. Honestly, I can wear this year round. Like there's absolutely no reason why a t-shirt dress can't carry me into spring and to summer. And I absolutely love it. This is from Frankie shop, which is honestly, this is also from Frankie shop, this sweater vest. I feel like their stuff is just minimal and classic, but also really modern. The price points are pretty good. And yeah, I just, I love, I love their stuff. So much of stuff that I have on here is from Frankie shop. You can buy Frankie Shop online. They have a store. I've actually never been into the store, which is really sad. I'm looking forward, I guess, to 
going back to the store one day, but I've never been there. I always buy everything online. Uh, but while we're on the discussion of Frankie Shop, uh, this is a sweater that I've purchased from them that I really loved and I wore it when I went to Bentonville, Arkansas. And it has these like detachable side pieces, which is cool. So it's, I can wear this as a little gilet kind of almost like a sweater vest like I have on now, which I love because, <laughs> sorry to my, I get really hot. Um, I'm a very, very warm person naturally. So it's nice when I can have a little like ventilation um, and just layers I think are always like super cool looking. Like I think this would look really dope with like a black sweater underneath, like a beanie, leather boots. Yeah, just a, another classic, super simple, but like with enough detail that it's interesting. So that I wore in Bentonville, Arkansas with these jeans from The Real Real, but they are rag and bone and they're velvet and they have these cute little side zips, which I love. So when it comes to jeans, I usually uh, always wear black jeans for the most part, unless I'm going like really 90s and then I wear like a light wash that's like very obviously trendy denim. But my classic denim staples are always black and I usually always go for rag and bone or frame denim. I've really gotten into frame denim and I always get them from the real real because you can get them for like 40 bucks. Like, I'm sorry, designer jeans for like $200? No, not doing it. So yeah, and it's a sample. Win-win. Uh, something I also want to point out about when I'm going to galleries is uh, I'm hitting up a lot of galleries usually in a day. So I always have to wear really comfortable shoes. And these are definitely my favorite, favorite tennis shoes of the year. These were a birthday present and these are Vegas and you'll see them everywhere in London. I'm really happy they're starting to gain a lot more popularity because they're a really fantastic shoe brand. Um, they manufacture out of Brazil. They're super sustainable as well. And they're just like a really, really great eco-conscious company. And I feel really good about buying stuff from them. So they just, for sure. And they're so, so comfortable. So I wore these in Bentonville as well with that gray sweater and those velvet jeans. Ugh, I wanna talk about my favorite outfit that I've worn recently. It's kind of head to toe Frankie shop, I will admit, which is, it's a little ridiculous, but um, it's this classic Frankie shop. Um, you're seeing a lot of knockoffs of this now, but Frankie shop really did it first. And it's this classic muscle tee with the shoulder pads. And I had this shirt tucked in to these amazing pants. I'm gonna put my phone down because I just, these are the coolest pants. I've honestly been searching for a pair of pants that are uh, kind of pleather like this, but that don't make noise when you walk. Hardest task. I thought it was gonna be impossible, but I still ordered these in hopes. I bought some from ASOS a while ago and I ended up having to give them away. Hence why I really try not to do fast fashion, but like, yeah, they made way too much noise. I wore them into the office back when we were still going to the office and I just, it was so embarrassing, it was terrible. Um, but these actually don't make that much noise when you walk and they're super lightweight so you don't get really, really hot like you do with some of the other pants. And these are by a brand called Rotate um, by Berger Christensen and I, I really love this brand. I never heard about them before but that's the cool thing about Frankie Shop is they have um, other brands, they have their own brands, so it's a cool way to kind of like find some new designers and stuff, but I'm obsessed with these pants. They kind of like buckle in, which you'll get a better feel for in the photos rather than me trying to do this on the hanger, but yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with these pants. So I wore these pants. And then I topped it with this blazer from Zara, which like, I, to be perfectly honest, when I got it, I was a little disappointed because it was a little darker than I thought it was gonna be. But what I loved about it is this back, which has this kind of like cut seam. So like, I, yeah, I like really classic stuff. I like things that can be worn in multiple ways, but I like things that have really modern architectural um, kind of shape to them. And this one certainly did with those shoulder pads again. And it's really oversized and just, I just feel cool and powerful when I wear it, to be honest. So that was a really good buy from Zara. 
And then to top it off, I wore my favorite boots. I They're totally covered in mud right now because I wore them to Blenheim Palace. <laughs> but these are the best boots I've ever purchased. Um, these were definitely, they were an investment, but looking back now, they were actually a really incredible price. They were on the real real. And I've been wanting an ankle booty that gave me some heel, but that was really low cut because I have very short legs and I'm 5'7", for reference, and my legs are really meant for someone that's like 5'2", five 5'3". Five so for me, if I don't have a low cut around the ankle and if I have a booty that comes up, it just really kind of chops my leg. So I feel like these really elongated um, my leg and they were exactly what I was looking for. But they are by Brunello Cuccinelli, and if you ever look up Brunello Cuccinelli stuff, so expensive but really really beautiful like honestly I, I get asked about these boots all the time and they're some of my favorites and they're super comfortable which is once again very important um on a day that i went to lower east side i dressed a little more casual and i wore some of my new favorite jeans these are by frame denim and yeah i just i love them they're really classic they have a little split at the bottom i have them in a low rise and then i have them in a high rise so depending on what i'm wearing or how casual i feel then i will like if i'm on a flight or something i'm gonna wear the low rise because i just need a little, a little more comfort uh, but yeah i love these from frame these are also from the real real and then i paired it with this top from also frankie shop who, who knew? Uh, it's called Blanche, B-L-A-N-C-H-E. If any of the stuff is still in stock, which honestly, Frankie Shop does really small batches of things, so it's probably not. Um, but this is more just meant to like, hopefully I connect you guys with some new brands, um, introduce you to the places I like to shop, like the real, real things like that, more so than like buying pieces. I'm obviously, I'm not trying to sell you on anything here, but um yeah just wanted to share like how i find uh things to wear and what i'm into if you're if you like my style and so this if you can see up close has this really cool kind of like yeah knitted detail but it's it's the texture of a sweatshirt which is awesome so yeah it's a very cool like winter piece heavier interesting but like very comfortable love this for working from home because like the top is super interesting but i can just wear like sweatpants on the bottom <laughs> so yeah i love that and this is an outfit that i wore in london um it's a great layering piece because full disclosure if i'm going to a lot of galleries i do like to kind of switch up my look so i like wearing layers because then i can you know keep my jacket on, take my jacket off, um, take off, you know, a top that I have of, on another top and just like change up the look as I go so that I'm not constantly showing you guys, you know, the same pose, the same outfit, the same, like I always want to keep things really visually interesting for you all. So that's a good hack of mine just to wear a lot of layers. And so this is a, looks like it's kind of falling apart. It's a little bit falling apart, but just like a really slinky base layer by Acne that I got from The Real Real, and I love this. It's very comfortable, very warm as well though. I think it's like a wool blend. But yeah, Acne has good like base layer, just turtlenecks, um, sweatshirts, things like that. It's always pretty good quality. And I paired it with my favorite things of all time, which are these Joseph leggings if you were gonna buy one thing like an investment piece oh my god these leggings are so flattering so comfortable and they just they look so good and they wear so well and i got these off of the real real shocker and i'm just i love these i wear these all the time with like huge sweaters and i mean i you can wear them with everything in fact i love them so much i actually bought uh similar as much as i could find these are helmet lane trousers but yeah if i it, they're very hard to find i will say so whenever i do see them on the real world i'll try to get another pair but it's really really hard to find them so because everybody loves them and yeah so i paired the leather leggings with that acne top and then some of my favorite boots from this year that i'm kind of shocked i've loved as much as i have are these really chunky boots <laughs> they're sort of like a bodega dupe that i got from uh asos they're berkshire and they 
they're a cool way to like try a trend like this is what i love about asos is if i want to go really trendy i don't feel bad like i'm not going to buy a bottega boots that i'm probably not going to like in like a year or two maybe i would but i didn't know if how much i was going to like this like chunky boot trend i have really huge feet and so it, you would think that this might not look great on me but i actually really love them so yeah it kind of helped me like get a little intro to the trend and see if i was going to like it or not without spending like a ton of money on bottega boots um yeah so i've loved these and they're so so comfortable they're great for when i'm in london because they have a ton of tread on the bottom so if it's like raining or snowing or anything like that it's awesome and i'm obsessed fourth thing i totally forgot to mention are another pair shocking i know of black boots um that i've also been wearing in a lot of photos recently and i love these uh this is actually before those berkshire asos boots this was my first foray into the chunky boot because i wanted more of a heel when i'm going out to galleries but still to be um yeah super comfortable but these are from the real real and these are prada and they're beautiful they've worn so nicely they look like actually i haven't even worn them and i've worn them so much so these are great um staple with like tights or you could wear them out with like jeans for sort of more like rock and roll look but yeah i love 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 these prada boots these were a great investment from the real real and then another uh shirt from acne which is a really great base layer when i went to the tate is this it's just a great i love acne just like white short sleeve button ups um i had one a long time ago that was actually the men's really beautiful thick material and it got lost in the dry cleaning which was very upsetting so this is kind of my spring version of that it's a little more lightweight um and i got this from the real real and i really like layering this like under under those big sweaters from frankie shop just classic and feels good and looks good so But yeah that is a little intro to some of my favorite pieces and what i like to wear when i'm out of galleries this is for the month of november december i would say and yeah i'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot of these pieces over and over again but i do like to add in more things so let me know if you like this video and i will do one for january coming up thanks guys also i forgot i'm obsessed i got this ear thing from asos and it's so cool it's just yeah it's super cool it just clips on your ear i already have a lot of piercings but this i'm obsessed with and then this necklace is a pretty much a go-to for me when i layer above or under clothes so yeah bye